Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. We have a really fun video for you today. We're going to show you a real close look at what we think is the best budget e-bike for RVers. Now, just an FYI for your viewers, Electric did send us these two bikes. All they asked for was an honest review in return, which is what we're going to do. So what we are going to be reviewing today is the Electric XP 2.0. This is a second video on e-bikes that we've done. So we did a video on the Rad City. Now that is a higher end e-bike. It's almost double the price of what this is. And we're gonna tell you what the price of this is later in the video. But I'm telling you right now, for the price, this is, this bike right here is hands down, probably one of the best buys you can get. It's high quality and it's really good. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna give you the highlights of it. We've, I've taken it out on, on some rides for not a lot of miles, but a few miles. And uh, I, I really like this bike a lot for several reasons. So if you've never heard of Electric, they are a pretty new company. They haven't been out that long, but they are one of the fastest growing e-bikes in the country and for good reason. They're based out of Arizona and they started with the XP 1.0 last year. So this year, I believe in May, May or June, they started shipping out the XP 2.0. And this has a lot of improvements that are really uh, making it a bike to compete with. So the first thing, this is a foldable bike. So really, you know, we mentioned the Rad City 4. It's kind of not fair. That's not the direct competitor. The direct competitor would be the uh, the Rad Step Through Mini. That's really the, the direct competitor. That's a folding bike. But we're going to show you some quick highlights about this bike. So let's start right up in the front. You're going to notice these are 20 inch tires. It's almost like those BMX style tires. Uh, knobby, so they're, they're going to be good for multiple uses. They are 20 inch by three inches wide. So it's gonna give you good traction in, in gravel and mud and sand. This one is equipped with the CST patrol tires. We I've rode them around on asphalt, gravel, and grass. They've been great. You're gonna have fenders front and rear, which is awesome. It's also gonna come stock with a front LED headlight. This is a big improvement for the 2.0 over the first electric that came out. It's gonna be the suspension front fork. Now this is an oil fill suspension front fork. You have a dampening adjustment here so you can make it stiffer or uh, more give and then you can also lock out this fork. If you're on a paved road and you don't need the absorption, you can lock out the fork. Now going on the, the head here of the, the front of the frame, you have mounting points on here. So Rad also sells accessories. If you want to put a front accessory rack on here, you can, or basket. And it's also going to have a rack on the rear which comes uh, from the factory. Now, just a note from the factory, this essentially comes completely assembled. The only thing you have to do is, it comes in the folded position, you just have to put it in the actual riding position, and then you put the handlebar stem, adjust that, and then you put the seat and adjust the height. That is it, and you, I'm sorry, you have to fill up the tires with air. So this is super simple. If you have no mechanical skills, this might be a bike you wanna look into. Now let's talk about what everybody wants to know, the power, the hub, how many uh, amp hours are in this battery. Now again, keep this in mind, this is an entry level e-bike. So the hub is gonna be a electric branded hub. It's a 500 watt hub mounted motor with a peak of 800 watts. Now, compared to some other ones out there, it's definitely less, but I will tell you right now, this thing hauls <laughs> Like I can't <laughs> believe how, how much this thing takes off. Powering that is gonna be a Samsung internal frame battery. So you're not gonna have that battery sticking out. It's gonna be inside the frame, which is pretty awesome. It is a 48 volt, 6.9 amp battery. Electric claims on Power Assist 1, you can get 45 miles plus range. Now, again, that's gonna be, be dependent on your weight, the riding conditions, wind, temperature, all of that. But they're claiming on Power Assist 1, 45 plus miles. So they're also gonna provide the charger, it's a two amp charger. It'll get your battery charged in four to six hours. Now you're gonna ask about the speed of this because I just said it hauls, you know what? From the factory, it comes as a class two e-bike, meaning it tops out at 20 miles an hour. However, you can go and manually change it on the LED controller to make it a level three bike, class three bike, it will get you 28 miles an hour. I'm telling you, this thing, it whips you. It, it really has enough power, more than enough than what we need. 
Now this bike, uh, very much like other ones in its price range, you have two ways of getting the power. You can use it uh, pedal assist, which while you're pedaling, it, there's a cadence sensor in there and, and down in the crank and it will start assisting you depending on the power, the pedal assist level you have. Now you have five levels, one through five. Something I kind of don't like on this is that on power assist zero, which is essentially no pedal assist, you can't use the throttle, which is gonna be the second way that you can get power on here. This has a twist throttle, which I'm gonna show you, and I'll put it on power assist one. You have a split handle, a split grip, and then if you twist this, it'll start giving power, okay? And then it snaps back. So those are the two ways that you can get power on here. Now we're up in the handle bar, the cockpit area, if you wanna show down here. So at this price point, you're gonna get some more basic components. Now on the left side here, you're gonna have your controller, where it's gonna have your plus and minus, as well as your power button. This will control the LCD screen, if you wanna show the screen. On the screen, you have your energy level, your battery level, you can have your speed, and then you also have the PAS, which is your power assist, and it goes from zero up to five. Zero being nothing, five being pretty much doing everything the bike. It also has uh, your average speed, odometer, both uh, trip as well as your collective odometer. Now you have uh, front and rear mechanical disc brakes. They're Tektro 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, more than sufficient to stop you. Also equipped on here is very entry level Shimano Touri seven speed rear, right? So you have nothing on the front. Uh, there's only one ring up front, so there's no front derailleur. You only have a rear derailleur, seven speed cassette. Now moving toward the mid center and the rear of the bike, you're gonna have your electric branded seat. It's okay. If you're riding a long time, you're probably gonna to wanna to change it. The seat is adjustable with a quick release as well as the handlebar is adjustable with the quick release. So this is a foldable bike. When you're gonna transport this in its folded configuration, part of the folding is gonna be the handlebars as well as the pedals and the frame itself, which we're gonna show you how this whole thing folds up in a minute. Now, I really like the paint job they have on here. Some people complain about it, but I like the blacked out. Now, they have a step-through version of this, and if you don't understand what step-through is, this is the standard, if you wanna show this. The standard frame kind of runs higher. The step-through, the frame is gonna drop lower, so for people that have some kind of hip problems, they can't get up over, step over this, the step-through is made so you don't need to step over it. Right now, the standard one only comes in black, but I like that. If you want the white version, you have to get the step through. That comes in black and white, but I really like this version. What Electric did that's pretty awesome on here, they have an integrated handle, which is nice. That's gonna be useful when this thing is folded up and you wanna transport it, you have a welded integrated handle. You also have what was pretty awesome. They uh, devised an area where you can put a lock now these e-bikes are not cheap. We're gonna talk about the price of this e-bike, but this is pretty genius, right? They have a little area here where you can get one of their branded electric bike locks and it fits in perfectly right here. So how cool is that? What electric didn't give you is a place to mount a water bottle cage. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't put it on the top tube here, but what we did, I'll show you we got these little puppies. We'll put them in the link below. These are, we got them off Amazon. You can get two of these, I believe for eight bucks and they mount right onto the handlebars and it makes it like super convenient. You could put your latte or whatever you drink when you're riding. Now on the rear of the bike, you have an integrated rack. Weight limit on the rack is 75 pounds. Now the whole weight limit for the unit itself, the whole payload, 330 pounds, which is pretty good because I know our other one was 275. Now looking in the back here, you have, it's wired up with a rear tail light. Notice I didn't say a brake light because it only activates when your headlights are on. So like some other bikes out there, if you pull the brake, you get a brake light, not so much on this one. Also you have on the back, over the back tire, you have your rear fender. All right, on the driver's side here, you have, you're gonna have a kickstand that's integrated. And then also underneath, the frame here is where your key is. So you do have a removable key. You need this key to be in the on position for power to go to the unit, otherwise it won't work. One thing that you have to have is 
the key has to be in. So once this is on, you can't get it out. So you're gonna have the key hanging here. Not something I'm really crazy about, but that's how it works. If you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below, join our family, hit the notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. All right, so before we move on to our test drive, like I told you in the beginning, what's really cool about these is that they're foldable. They're gonna save a lot of space. So what do you need to do to fold these bikes up? The first thing you're gonna do, if you wanna come down here, you are going to fold both pedals. How you do that, you just push them in and you turn and they're folded. Then you're gonna come over to the passenger side and you have the frame release. You're gonna pull the frame release, unlock it. That's gonna allow this frame to bend in half. Finally, once you have it together, you're gonna to have the release for the handlebar. You're gonna pull the little safety mechanism up and then this is gonna drop down and turn also. When you're all done, your final package is gonna look like this. <laughs> so let, let me just roll, let me roll this one over here. Here is your bike fully assembled and the, here is your bike folded up. So you can see if you have limited space, that's gonna fit in the back of an SUV. If you have a diesel pusher, you can fit these right underneath in the tray, no problem. And if you're at a location where it may be a little sketchy, you can fold them up, you can bring them inside your RV when you're not using them so they don't ride away. All right, so I'm at on a grass field here. If it's a little bumpy, you can see, but we've taken these out for a little bit. They ride really well. They take the bumps really well. And I can't believe how fast these things are. Okay, so we've had the opportunity to ride these things around couple things that we like and then we're going to talk about things that we don't like so number one it's an american company which is always awesome always now plus for that the frames are made in china but you're going to see that for very high-end bicycles mm -hmm. also it's just what it is but Wait. it is an american company and they are very popular they've grown very quickly because they have a bike that is a good price mm -hmm. and a value which is going to be the right. second thing we like it this is a really good value it's a great buy you're not going to get top of the end components and tires and all you're not going to get that but what you get on here is pretty sufficient for most riders mm -hmm, out there mm -hmm. okay next thing the mounting points for the accessories they have the front mounting points that we show you those have the rear rack and then what i thought was genius is that they put a place for the lock that's pretty cool so we really like that. The next thing we like is the look and the fat tires. Fat like tires are always tire. cool, right? The look is very sleek looking. It's we like the colors, kind of like almost Nelly's colors. The blue is a little bit different. It is, but yeah. I also like the like the blacked out wheels. Yes. I love that yes. look. What they could have improved, and this is no nothing to do with electric, but if they would have like blacked out the lettering on the tires, yeah, yeah, that would have been awesome. The next thing is is it is foldable, which we love because we can just throw it in the back of the truck if we're taking the truck with us when we go camping and bring it the rads you know we have the the hitch and it, it becomes kind of a project so the foldability is good and that, the portability. that may actually save you some money depending on what you drive if you have a large pickup suv you can fold these and put them right in the back seat you may right. save five to eight hundred dollars on a bike rack right and which... what is also good about this is something that you had mentioned before because you can fold it if you're at a campground and that you maybe not feel as safe. Honestly, I would never leave an e-bike no. out. Um, fold it and just keep it on your RV at night. The next thing for the mechanically not inclined, they pretty much come assembled. I mean, if you can't get the finishing touches on that, I don't even think you can ride a bike at that point, right? Because it's so it's little so that you easy. have to do. Uh, so that's really good. And then easy to adjust the height of the seats as well as the handlebars. It's mm -hmm. all quick release. Yes, very easy. Super simple. The place for the lock. Again, I said that's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. That's a big plus. And then here's the thing that I like about these. Now we talked about the hub, it's only 500 watts, but the speed and the torque of these, <laughs> don't even look, throw that 500 watts out the window. It peaks at 800, but I'm telling you right now, these things take off. Like scary take off. Plenty of power. Now we, oh, yeah. we live in an area that has some steep hills. We were climbing this on pedal assist too, Two. with no problem. Right, which on our other ones, we had to use four, sometimes five, because mm -hmm. it's a really steep hill. Literally with a two, we got up no problem. 
All right, so let's get into what we don't like now. So the first thing is the shipping time. It's really slow, unfortunately. It's pretty bad. Yeah. The price we're gonna talk about at the end of the video, but shipping is free in the 48 mm -hmm, states. Mm -hmm. So that's great. But if you go and you read the reviews, now Electric has excellent reviews, mm -hmm. like really good reviews on the quality of the bikes, but you're gonna get a consistent thing on the reviews that the shipping is pretty bad. Now, I don't know if that's due to demand, which I would imagine these things are pretty much yeah. in demand. Yeah. You know, uh, manufacturing problems, I don't know what it is. Right, it could be. This took us, it was over a month. It was supposed to be like a week and it was over a month and I've seen yeah. that consistently on reviews. If you need it in a pinch, I would suggest that you order way ahead of when you need them. Right. The next thing is, as we mentioned, as he mentioned this in the video, is a lack of place for a water bottle. So yeah. we did, you know, we found a solution to that, an easy one. That would be, if they're going to do a electric 3.0, put a water bottle mm -hmm. cage holder somewhere. The next thing, the components on here, now they work. And it is, like I said, an entry level bike, but you are getting the Shimano Touri on the, uh, as far as the rear derailleur and the components, that's entry level. Mm -hmm. But at 999, that's what you expect. Right. The battery. Now this is a Samsung battery. It's a good battery, but it doesn't have that many amps, right? It's a 48 volt, like I said, 9.6 amps, I believe, 9.6 amps. Usually you're getting like 14, some higher end, you're getting 19 amps. Again, at this price range, that's kind of what right. you accept, but you're still getting the range. Mm -hmm. Now we haven't put it to the test for the range, but that's what they're claiming. And my reviews that I've been reading, people are saying they're getting that kind of range. Next thing is when we did receive the bikes, one of them had some minor damage on it. A little paint mm -hmm. uh, scuffing. Yeah, I was able to touch small. that up. Things that, happen. It comes yeah. from the factory, right. you know, that's, it is what it is just you know that quality control mm -hmm. they should have picked that up yeah. but it's okay uh next thing we would love to have quick release on the front and rear wheels that would be awesome this is just a bolt and to add to that it doesn't come with any kind of tool kit so you kind of need to have a minimal yeah. tool kit with mm -hmm. you that's something you're going to have to spend some money on uh, next thing, there's no charging port for a phone. Now that's, this one I think is kind of important. Sometimes those LCD screens, LED screens up front, they're gonna have a, they would have a port for charging a phone. This doesn't have it, not a deal breaker, but something that would be nice to add. And finally, the rear brake light, it's really a tail light. I don't know how much more it would cost just to integrate a brake light in there. That would be mm -hmm. kind of cool. Not a deal breaker, but something that you know could be added now before we get to the price i'm just going to read you some quick specs on these bikes now the electronics are ip65 weather rated which means they will handle the rain you don't want to submerge it but it'll handle rain and weather with no problem the total weight on this bike is 64 pounds the battery weight is seven pounds like i said earlier the max payload that's how total that you can hold on this bike 330 pounds which is pretty good and then the rear rack holds 75 pounds now the unfolded dimensions are 67 by 18 by 47 inches and then the folded dimensions are going to be 37 by 18 by 27 inches so what is the price of this 999 dollars with free shipping to the lower 48 states which is great absolutely awesome mm -hmm. now what are our thoughts on these bikes now we have the rad city fours we have these neither one of them we paid for right they were both sent to us and we'll thanks to both we'll companies get, we'll get the hate comments below. of course now this is going to be dependent on your use both bikes are excellent this is not a direct comparison because they're yeah. really not in the same league to be comparing it's not fair to be comparing a 1600 dollars bike to a thousand dollar bike if we were going to buy something with our money and for the use that we would have, which would be mostly campgrounds mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. maybe 40, 50 mile rides, this bike is hard to beat. The, the Electric XP 2.0 is really hard to beat for 999. And I think that is why they are selling so many of them. Right, right, because people think e-bikes and they think, oh, I can't afford it. It's, it's just too expensive. Um, even though they have a wide range of them, this, this is an affordable e-bike for sure. Now people say, oh, $999, that's really expensive. It is, 
but in the bike world but bikes are expensive like yeah. so self-powered bikes i mean if you get a decent bike you're spending 1500 bucks mm -hmm. right some of them mm -hmm. are in the twelve thousand dollar range e-bikes are, are pretty expensive so for 9.99 you get a whole lot of bike here that's very functional it has a high payload it freaking works man it's foldable oh, the power is is crazy yeah. I think this is like one of the best buys out there in the e-bike range for this for price. In, for a budget bike. Yeah. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. in the comments below, let us know. Hey, listen, the two most popular ones out there are Rad and Electric. There's a myriad of other ones, but those two are like kind of king of the hill. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Do you have an electric bike? Let us. What do you think of it? Do you like yeah. it? Do you wish you got the Rad or a different one? Put it in the comments below. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching. We'll see, see you on the road. road.